Okay, it's the next day. I take a little break. Definitely enjoyed the breweries. Got one more cover from Texas Beer Company. Um, got to meet the owners and talk with one of, one of them. I really talked to the other one's busy. They had a meeting to go to. Uh, said took time to say hi. You know, very nice. Bartenders were cool. Uh, so it's called Hoppy Duck. Apparently they have a lot of ducks over there, so I got named after that. So this is very already had it, very floral. That's how they describe it. For me, the best way to narrow it down is if you ever had like rose water. It's almost perfume, perfumey, but this one's really mellow. So you get a like touch of it and then the bitterness kind of sticks on your tongue. So it's not my absolute like, favorite IPA, but definitely if you want that intensity, you like that bitterness, this is one for you. If you want to break away, do something different, it's a, it's a nice step up. All right, that one came out pretty good. So reminder, yep, it's almost like an orange peel and a flower together, just a little bit. You get that floral right in the beginning. This glass is really cold, so when you do cold, you might want to give it a little bit of time so it can open up a little more. But you do want it cold to enjoy the first initial flavors, and as a, you sip on it, it'll start warming up, and you start going through the range of. Uh, the more intense flavors coming up and then the mellow ones get behind them and it starts moving around which keeps it interesting yep exactly exactly how i remember it the bitterness is not that it's intense right away but definitely it's like uh, chili the more you have the more it builds up so this is something like if you just want to sip and take your time this can help you out if you just want that and desire that go for it some people will be drinking budweiser and bud light and or Miller and Miller Lite and all that. And they leave it out and they just know that it creates more bitterness. And I learned this when I was went to Bush Gardens. Uh, I got to go hang out there. That's with a famous roller coaster where Fabio had a goose hit across his neck. So if you get a chance to go there, go. It's, it's called the Palos Chariot. That's a scary roller coaster. It has like one bar in the middle of your legs. That's it. But uh, they did a little beer class that they do like five times a day. And you get to try all the beers fresh. Having them completely fresh right off the, you know, before, after they're bottled is completely different than when they hit the store shelves. So first rule, see the cold, they keep it cold, it maintains the way they developed it first longer. But you'll see people, they'll store them out. And yeah, we have AC, so that's not too bad. But definitely if it's like they have an outside storage and it's a small corner store and you're always catching beers here and there that doesn't really hit right, it could be a contribution from them not treating it and taking care of it right on top of it. You do want to keep them at room temperature or a little bit cooler. 42 is preference for fridge. It doesn't have to be too that too cold, but definitely that helps it go travel, get to where it needs to go, and be beautiful when you taste it. But this one, if you like more flavor, just enjoy it in the sun. Mm. It's very intense. Today I can get the floor on the bitterness and it's really coating and sticking out. I had a couple sips in between. So it makes me pull back, but it's still a quality beer. Can't go argue, it's local. They're in a little town. And I'm gonna go to the end of the last one. I'm connecting these two. Got a little started. It's a small town. They worked their way up. They started at home and they've been around for three years. Uh, it's really quaint. They focused on the bar first. So when you get there, if you just wanna hang out and have some drinks, it's what it's made for. It's right on the corner where there's plenty of shops and diners and other things, not diners, like the restaurants to enjoy yourself. So just like wine, the scenery impacts the memory and enjoyment and the flavor and everything about the beverage, whether it be wine. And another note, they do have wine, they do carry snacks. So that's for the brewery. And as far as this beer, um, the only thing, if you're starting on APAs, this is not a good start one. This is something where you need to learn a little bit more before you go in. Uh, definitely Hoppy Duck is just behind it and has a good amount of that intensity. That one is good to start with if you want to work your way up to IPAs. Um, honestly, all their stouts are phenomenal. I, I'm picky on stouts. Their stouts are good. Their whiskey one is very smooth. So once again, I'm repeating that one. It's amazing. It's made by Spirit Whiskey. It's a local distillery and they get their barrels and it's very light for you can see how thick it is but the flavors are very delicate and they come up so all those things combined makes it a trip worthwhile and hopefully you get out there and give it a shot and let them see what it's about and we'll just go from there and then this one um, just let you know it's a good ipa it's solid 
I already put one up for the King Grackle, uh, the other Pale L that they have. And I haven't done the Amber yet, but that'll probably be coming up soon. And last note, they do six packs to go for $8. They had, it's a lot of work, but obviously they knocked it out first. And you can get one of six different flavors or two of each, or three and three, or four and two, it doesn't matter, it does not change the price of the beer. That is actually really phenomenal. So if you make that journey, be ready to take some to-go beers, because I completely think it's worth it, honestly. And you can share with your friends, or just keep it to yourself, it's up to you. But do be safe, drink responsibly, and have a great day. Salud.